Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about Hike Connect and the Hike Vision cameras when you have errors. As you can see, I have the Hike Connect application here on my mobile phone and also the camera running in our web browser, all right? Let's simulate some situations here with some problems so you can learn and fix yours, all right? So what I have here is the app. Let me just bring closer. So here I'm going to add a new device and click on manual adding. Okay, you can also use the QR code if you want to, but in this case, you're gonna just type the serial number. So I can find the serial number here on the camera configuration. So just click here and I go to the system settings and I find the serial number here, all right? Those are the last nine digits, right? Here that you have. And I will type it here on my camera, on my app, I mean. Here we go. Then I hit this save icon. Wait for it to search. And then I choose my camera. In this case, it's camera wired. I click connect and next. And now the app is going to try to find the camera on the network, right? That takes 90 seconds. So we're gonna wait for a while and then come back when the app like try to find the camera. Okay, so the app didn't find the camera in the network, and then I get this error. What I have to do here is retry, but first I need to find the problem, okay? So if you click this link here, you're gonna have this document that shows what you can try. You can go to advanced settings, you can check the platform access, enable the Hike Connect, you can check your network, so basic stuff that you have to do. I think that's pretty interesting. The Hike Vision has this information here. You can also check this for recorders, as you can see. Okay, so let's do this. Let's come back here to the main screen. And then let's just push this back and go to the camera. First thing I have to try is check how is the configuration. So here on the network, advanced settings, I check that I have the Hike Connect enabled but it's offline, you see? I have the verification code, I have the server IP, everything is here, but it's offline. So let me check the network first. Here, when I come to network basic settings, I see that I have the IP address for the camera, subnet mask, but it's missing the default gateway, okay? It's also missing the DNS server. So let's understand that better. Uh, I have a diagram here so I can show what I mean. So basically here I have the IP camera that's connected to a switch, to a router, and on the other side here, across the internet, I have the Hike Connect server. So basically your camera needs to leave the network, at least the packets needs to leave the network, cross the router, go to the internet, hit the Hike Connect, Connect server, and communicate with the server, okay? So basically the router is the gateway to the internet. So you need to go to your camera and say, hey camera, every time you need to go to the internet, please forward the packets to the router, okay? That's your gateway. The same applies for the computer. I have my laptop and I have access to the internet because my laptop's gateway is the router, okay? So let's come back to the camera. Go back here to the camera. Let's input here the information. And if you don't know what the gateway is, you can check on your computer because my computer already knows how to get to the internet because it has the default gateway configured there, right? So you can come here to your computer, right click, go to run and type CMD, hit okay. So you can see this screen here that you can input this command IP config. Okay, hit enter. And here's the information of the IP of your computer, right? So I have the IP, subnet mask, and here I have the gateway. Just take a look here at default gateway. And here we go. That's the address of my default gateway. So on my network, the default gateway is the same for everybody. Back here to the diagram, as you can see, 
the router is here. I have the computer. The default gate is the router. It's also the default gate for the camera. If I have more cameras, more computer, it doesn't matter. The default gate is always the same one. So what I have to do is come back here to my camera and input this default gate here, okay? So I got the information from my computer. Let me just type it here. Here we go. Type the IP address of my gateway. And also the DNS information, okay? You can use this one if you don't have information for the DNS, you can use this rec generic one that's for Google, 8.8.8.8. And also a second one that's 8.8.4.4. Okay, those are, are the ones that you can use. Hit save and your camera ask to reboot the unit. You just hit OK and wait for the camera to reboot. Okay, every time you make some changes like uh, on the network settings, the camera asks to reboot. So let's just wait for the camera to reboot and we come back. Okay, so the camera is back. I will log in again. So just type here the username and password. go click login now I'm back and I'm gonna check here the configuration that's okay IP address subnet mask the default gateway DNS everything as expected here and I come to advanced settings and now you see it's online already so the hike connect is enabled and it's online because I have all the information correct there on the basic settings of my network so let me come back here to my cell phone and just retry, right? Because I was trying to add the camera, didn't work. Let's just hit retry here and see how it goes. Okay. So it's already asking for the input to input the verification code. That's the one that I have here. Okay. Let me just show you. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, right? It's just a test one. I usually don't use that one, but just, just for test for this video, so I, I typed in here, hit OK, and wait for it to connect. And it's linked the device to my account because I already have an account. Incorrect verification code, try again. I don't know, did I type wrong? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Type it again, link the device. So it, here we go. See, I, I made some mistake typing the code that also can happen. So you have different situations, different things that can happen, right? So when I hit here next, ask me to change the name if I want to. Let me just remove part of the serial number here and just keep the name of the camera like this. Hit save and here we go working well, I'm gonna click here it loads my camera and it's working let me just click here on live view so you can see in the web browser that's working locally here and also via my cell phone see it's working pretty fine it's fast here on my cell phone and also there on the web browser so it's basically working all right Okay, so it's working for me, but let's say it's not working for you. Something is still wrong. What else can you check? Back here to the diagram. Let's check something here. You see I have an IP camera connected to the router and the router connects to the internet. Let's say you have some rule on the router that's preventing the camera to connect to the high connect server. So you can check that as well. So let me just come back here to the web browser and I can open here the router interface. So I'm gonna just type here the router IP address and I can log in and check there if I have some rule preventing the router to reach the internet, right? The camera to reach the internet. So let me type again. I put it wrong here. Here we go. Okay, log into my router. And I can come here to advanced and security. Here I have some options, okay? Of course, 
that's different for your router. My router works like this, but yours could be different. So what I have here, for example, is parent controls, access control, block sites, block services, schedule, and email, and the security part. You need to check your security menu and see what you have there. In this case, for example, if I click on access control, it's going to check all the devices that I have here on my network internally and shows me the rules, you see? Allowed for this IP address, for this MAC address, allowed for everything here. You can also deny access to the devices. So basically, if you have some device on a network that's blocked here, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna reach the internet. So perhaps your camera is listed here. So you need to check. Also, you can come to this blocked sites, check if you have something blocked here. That's not the case. And also block services and check here, right? It's not blocked. So make sure that you check there to see if it's not there and it's not preventing your camera to reach the internet, okay? In my case, it's not. So basically everything is good here. And something else that you can check is, is your router, okay? So back here to the diagram, you can go to your router and just reload your router to see if it works. So you have your hike connect working, the IP address is correct, there's no firewall rules here. You can just reload your router and see if it works, okay? Most of the time, the problem is with the hike connect that's not uh, enabled with the network that's not correct here on the camera. That's the second one. And third one is uh, rules here on the firewall on the router. I, the router has a firewall, internal firewall. We can just check the rules. And the fourth reason that caused this issue is the router is missing something. You can just reload the router and see if it works. Okay, so back here to my camera, as you can see, everything's still working. So I'm, I'm pretty happy because I have Hike Connect working with my Hike Vision camera, everything working. And I also taught you guys how to check for errors and I hope you can correct yours, right? And guys, don't forget, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next video.